talking about the day I met 6 9 so basically like this was like this was like a year ago a year and a half ago a couple months whatever a year and a couple months ago um I lived in Brooklyn at this time so or whatever and then I was working at this like a non-for-profit place and bro mind you like around this time I was like mad like just I don't know like I, I wouldn't say depressed but I was just like I was just feeling hella like bad like shit was not like I had graduated high school and like um I wanted to go away to like a university and shit but like I couldn't so I had to stay home and I went to a community college and then that shit started getting expensive and shit like that so around that time bro I was just like and I had lost my first like real job and I was really happy at that job but like not really like a lot of bullshit was going on but that was my first job I had lost that job so mind you, around this time, like, in my bag, <laughs> I'm, like, mad at the world or whatever. I'm feeling like ain't nothing exciting is happening in my life. Like, shit is just trash. And then, like, one day, bro, like, I'm getting off the train and I'm walking. I'm downtown. I'm in, like, downtown Brooklyn where, um, you know, where the Target and, you know, all the stores, all the, like, shopping centers is at. That's where I would get off my stop. So I'm walking. I'm, like... Some told me to just go, like, because I was just going to go home. I was just going to get on the bus and then just go straight home. But some was like, nah, go to the go to the mall. Like, you know, go to Target. Go see, you know, what they got in there or whatever. Just walk around. So, I was like, fuck it. And I was mad tired this day. Like, I remember, like, I was tired because I was just, like, working. So, I fucking was just walking, like, th in the direction where all the stores are and, like, walking towards Target. And then, bro... I see this nigga walk into Old Navy. And I'm like, wait. Like, he literally, like, crossed, like, you know, no, wait, wait, I'm bugging. I'm bugging. <laughs> he was walking out of Old Navy. I'm tripping. I was just drinking some wine because I'm trying to just feel a little, feel a little good today. So he was walking out of Old Navy. And I'm like, I'm literally, like, starstruck. Like, like, what? Is this really 6'9, bro? <laughs> And, um, so he just walks across the street, walks out of Old Navy, walks across the street, walks into Models, and I wanted to, like, stop him, like, and just ask for a picture, but, bro, my phone was on 1%, and then, and then, like, I'm like, no, like, fuck, like, I'm not gonna get the picture. So, I had to, like, bro, I had no charger, like, I'm in the middle of the, like, basically middle of the, on the sidewalk, like, where am I charging my phone? And I didn't even have a charger on me, so... So I'm like, fuck. So I went to fucking Sprint. <laughs> I bolted into Sprint. And I'm like, yo, can I please charge my phone? Like, my phone's on 1%. Six nines across the street. I want to get a picture. And the, and the and the guys, like, two guys that I was working in there, and they were like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, yo, six nines across the street. He's in Models. And they would just start, they start talking, like, mad shit about him. Like, you know how, like, people don't really fuck with him. Well, this was, like, two years ago. So this was, like, when he was coming up. People in Brooklyn still don't really fuck with him like that because they know he's not really, like, a street nigga or whatever. And they were, like, talking hella shit about him, but I didn't even care, bro. They let me charge my phone. As soon as my shit turned on, I waited until I got to, like, 5%. I bolted out of that store, and they were like, good luck or whatever. <laughs> I bolted out the store, bro, and I went straight into Models. And I saw him, like, I'm like, yo, why is he in Models? Maybe, like, they were right because they were saying, like, he's broke, like, he... He don't really got money like that or whatever. Like, he still lives same place in Brooklyn. So I'm like, so when I saw him in Models just walking around, I'm like, yo, maybe they were right. Like, why is he in Models? Like, all Models sells is, like, fucking Nike, Adidas. You know, a little, little bit of sneakers here and there. But, like, little, I mean, I'm talking about, like, some nice shit. But I'm like, yo, why is he in Models? Like, <laughs> this, like, you don't, like, no celebrity would be in Models or nobody that got money. 
Like, what you want to wear Nike for? Like, go cop you some Balenciagas. Go cop you some Gucci or some shit like that. Really pop out or flex. So, bro, he's walking around the store. And mind you, like, and I used to live, like, upstate. So, as I'm going up the stairs, I see, like, my friend, like, some girl I used to go to school with from upstate. I'm like, yo, what the heck? So, that shit was just, that, that day was just mad weird, like. And, like, we chopped it up for a little bit. And then she got her picture with, with 6 9 I guess. And then I just waited for him to come downstairs because he was, like, at the checkout and everything when I, when I was went upstairs to Modell's. So he comes downstairs and I'm just sitting, I'm just standing outside waiting like like yeah it's nigga and he saw me too he saw me when he came out of Old Navy and he he saw me lurking on him in Model so he was like yo this this girl is crazy <laughs> like what is she doing so as he comes down the, the escalator I'm standing there I'm waiting I'm like and as soon as he come outside I'm like yo can I get a picture like and then he's just like like that's all he does he just nods at me like no nothing no conversation no nothing. And so one of his, like, friends or his homies or his security, yeah, he was with, like, a whole bunch of security guys. So one of his securities took a picture, and, like, I was so happy. Like, <laughs> bro, like, meeting him in person, I don't know, like, he seemed, like, tough. Maybe I'm just talking shit. <laughs> but he seemed, like, a tough, like, a nigga that will knock somebody out. But at the same time, he seemed hella, like, just, like, quiet scary looking like shy or whatever like because he didn't really say much he wasn't really smiling he was just like hella nonchalant like anyways that's the story so i got that picture i was hyped because i had never met a celebrity in my life or anybody you know that's popping like that i ain't never met anyone other than like i went to an ashanti concert which i'll make a I'll make a um, vlog about that if you guys want. If this get a lot of likes, I'll make that's so I'll make a vlog about an Ashanti concert I went to in like tenth grade. I'll make that. It ain't really much to talk about, but I'll still make that vlog, or whatever. But but another vlog I really gonna be interested in seeing is when I had an interaction with Chief Keith. He noticed me on Instagram, and like that's that's like a big deal to me because like. That nigga, like, helped cure my depression. Like, as soon as I put on a Chief Keef song, bitch, I'm lit. Like, you know? So, but yeah, that's the story of how I met 6 9 And now, he just came out of jail. But anyways, guys, I want to thank y'all for watching this vlog. Well, this video is not even a vlog. I will be posting vlogs. Um, I might be going to Georgia in a couple days, so... I'll be a lit ass vlog, like that'll be dumb cool. Like who won't wanna see that? Especially in quarantine. I mean I know like rest in peace to all of you know, fallen angels, everybody who lost their lives and people who are just struggling during this time. I just I just feel like this is a time to just, you know, reflect. This is definitely a time of reflection. Look back on your past, look back on just how you've been living, you know? And look back and just, uh, I don't know, <laughs> fucking look back, choose, fix what you, you know, you don't like about yourself, fix what, you, what you've been doing wrong in your life. And as you move forward, because, you know, there's going to be a time that this is over. Might it be next year, might it be in two years, because I was reading earlier that um the Spanish influenza was over in like two years. It took two years for them to be over with. I really hope it don't take that long for the corona to go away because um, we have so much technology, so much power, like, so much, like, we've grown so much, you know, as as a fucking human race, like, so there's no reason for this shit to take even five months to go away, like, if you really think about it, because the government and everybody you know in the higher powers the elites bro they they got shit going up into space they're creating new life like come on now like really i can't really get get rid of a disease unless this is like some real shit like some shit god sent on this earth um then that's like different but other than that like i feel like scientists should really i really feel like they got a cure for this like 
I know they got a cure for AIDS, they got a cure for cancer, they got a cure for everything, but that shit is not mainstream. That shit is not, you know, given out to the population or whatever. I believe that it should go away. And yeah, like, is what it is. But at the end of the day, you know, rest in peace to everybody who lost their life in this. I'm still gonna fucking, you know, I'm, I'm, I've always been a person that like, I've always been a person that just did whatever I wanted. And, like, not really break the rules and shit like that. But, like, I always have... A, I got a strong so sense of myself, security within myself, confidence within myself. And if I want to do something, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm not on this earth to be anybody's puppet, to be anybody's slave, you know? At the same time, like, what what you... You know what I'm saying? Like, at the same time, a lot of shit could over, you know, that I do. And it has a lot, but ain't nothing that I can't conquer. You know what I'm saying? I was born, born, it's like, born to lose, built to win. That's a fact. I was born to lose, but built to win. Some, something like that. Or built to win. Built to win. Some shit like that. Yeah, so... I've fucking, I've, I've conquered a lot of shit in my personal life that I don't mind talking about in here. I just need, you know, my subscribers to go up, my likes to go up, and follow me on Instagram. And, you know, like, I'll definitely share a lot more about myself, a lot more about my opinions and, you know, shit that, you know, a lot of shit that's interesting, that's funny, that's fun. I'm all for it. Um, So just keep liking my videos keep showing love you know follow me my link is in the description and till next time um it's a rainy day in florida right now but it's good vibes you know it's com comfortable not complaining i want to thank you guys for watching my video please make sure you like and subscribe i don't know what's going on in my comments um if you guys would like hit me up on instagram we'll talk about it Talk about why YouTube's not letting my comments show. Like, I don't know why. But if you if you have knowledge and you know, I'll appreciate it. All right. So thank you guys. Bye.